let's quickly solve this first i want us to know that this is z okay so we are looking for the value of x y z don't worry it is easy we are going to do it together first i need to introduce difference of two squares here yes and to do that i need to write this so this is x raised to the power of y raised to the power of two over two okay minus the only way to introduce two here is to get, take square root of z and also square it without changing what the value now when you have two values in this way that is two powers on a base you can interchange your position in order to do what in order to get whatever you want and you will not change the answer or the solution so the way it is now i can bring in these two and leave my two outside just to form my square so i will write x to the power of square root of y divided by two right everything squared is equal to sorry minus square root of z raised to the power of two is equal to 20. okay now this is difference of two squares okay in our algebra the identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus what b now in this case our a is what our a is x to the power of root y divided by 2 while our b is equal to square root of what z all right so we are going to express this in this form then but before that, note that A and B are what? They are what? Natural. Okay. Now, if that is the case, you can now rewrite this equation as what? A squared minus B squared is equal to 20. That is A minus B multiplied by A plus B is equal to 20. Now, there are several ways you can express 20. We can express 20 as 1 multiplied by 20. 20 multiplied by 1, 2 multiplied by 10, 10 multiplied by 2, 4 multiplied by 5, and 5 multiplied by 4. Lest I forget, I would like you to watch this to the end. Note that you are looking for the value of x, y, z, and not a and b. Okay? So, how did we get value of 3 unknowns using just 2 unknowns? So, I would like you to see, put, and see how this plays out. Okay? Thank you. Now, since A and B are natural, then it means that A minus B has to be less than A plus B. Right? Right. Therefore, we are going to pick this, we are going to pick this, we are going to pick this. Therefore, all we are going to use is 1 multiplied by 20, then um, 2 multiplied by 5, by 10, sorry, and 4 multiplied by 5. Therefore, all these are not needed the other ones are not needed therefore let's go ahead and start we can now write that a minus b is equal to i'm now taking the first case case one case one whereby one times 20 is equal to 20. so that means a minus b is equal to one you know my camera tripped off while i was shooting so where we start is where we said that we are going to make use of these ones and we are not going to make use of other ones right so and this is the main thing i've actually copied out the main thing and i would like you to watch to the end to see recall that we're not looking for the value of a and b right we are just looking for the value of x y and z so i would like you to see how we got a how we got x y z from a and b now like i said a and a minus b is less than a plus b right so that means for the first case this is case one our a minus b is equal to one and our a plus b is equal to 20 okay so we are going to add now a plus a is 2a minus b plus b is 0 and this is equal to what 21 if we divide through by 2 divided by 2 we are going to have that a is what a fraction i recall that a and b are natural numbers so that means that this particular case will not work it will not work so we are going to reject this case so for that, I'm going to clean it. Let me wipe it because I want to utilize my board well. So we are going over to the second case. And the second case says that our A minus B should be 2, right? So we have A minus B is equal to 2. And A plus B is equal to 10. All right? Then we are going to add as usual. A plus A will give us 2A. 
this will give us 0, and 2 plus 10 will give us 12. All right. Now, 2a divided by 2 is equal to 12 divided by 2. So we are going to have that a is equal to 6. This looks nice, right? Yes. A is equal to 6, and 6 is a natural number. Now, we are going to substitute a equal to 6 into this first equation. Let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2. So we are going to have a minus b is equal to 2. That is 6 minus b is equal to 2. That means that our b is equal to 4 here. Okay? Right. So we have gotten the value of our a and we have gotten the value of our b using the second word, the second case. Now, the third case, for the third case, which is 4 times 5, we can say that a minus b is equal to 4 and a plus b is equal to 5. Now, let us add as usual. a plus a will give us 2a. Why this will give us 0. 4 plus 5 will give us 9. So if we should divide through by 2, you can see that a will give us fraction, which is not natural. So that means that this is not going to be used. Therefore, the only values that actually corresponds to what we are looking for is what? a is equal to 6 and b is equal to 4. Now it is time to use it to find, to use them to find the value of our x, our y, and our z. Now, let's do that. Recall that a is equal to what? Our a is equal to x to the power of square root of y divided by 2. Now what is our a? Our a is 6. So we can write that 6 is equal to x to the power of square root of y divided by 2. Please watch to the end and see how I substituted what I got into this equation to prove that it is right, okay? So we can now solve from here by comparison our uh, base is 6, right? So that means that 6 is equal to x. This is the value of x. Yes, don't worry, we are going to prove that. Now, that means that 1 is equal to root y over 2. So we can say that square root of y divided by 2 is equal to 1 over 1, right? Now, if we cross multiply, we will have that 2 times 1 is 2 is equal to root y, okay? Now, if we square both sides, because I want to get the value of y, let me square both sides. If I square both sides, I will have 2 squared will give us 4 is equal to this, we cancel this, and we have y. So this is the value of our y. So our x is 6 and our y is 4. Now it's remaining z, right? Also recall that b is equal to square root of z. So we have b is equal to square root of z. Now what is our b? Our b is what? 4. So we can write that what? 4 is equal to square root of z. We're also going to square and we are also going to square. Now, this square is going to cancel this square root. 4 squared will give us 16 is equal to z, right? So we have our z to be equal to 16. Now, it's time to check. So I'm going to check here. Let's check here. Now, let's check. The equation says x to the power of square root of y minus z is equal to 20, okay? Now our x is 6, so we have 6 to the power of square root of 4 minus 16 is equal to 20, z is 16, okay? Now this sentence has 6 to the power of 2, square root of 4 is 2, minus 16 is equal to 20. So 36 minus 16 is equal to 20, and 20 is equal to 20. So you can see that what we did is correct. Thank you so much for watching, and have a lovely day.